I peeled all the tape off after the setup, but while it was still tacky and kind of like Play-Doh, you could still move it around and form it. And that way I didn't have too much scraping and everything to go. Then I used a razor blade, my X-Acto knife, and I pushed all that excess down into the holes and then trimmed it off where I didn't need it. And I'm just going to set this aside at this point and let it dry up. But one of the reasons, folks, that we didn't trim this off yet is because we get a whole bunch of epoxy that gets down inside of here and all we can clean most of it out, you're not going to clean it all out of there. So this is going to help when we trim this off to clean that up inside. Alright y'all, I apologize for the poor lighting. I just got off of work. It's the next day and I want to get something done on this. I got these big old bolts on here. I got to cut these off. Pretty simple. Just going to use my cutting wheel. I'm going to nub them off. Then I'm going to use my grinding disc or my sanding disc and I'm just going to smooth them out and these pieces too if they're sticking up just so it's the same as the rest of the wood. See how they're nice and smooth now. Alright y'all I waited till now to trim my ends and at this point I'm just going to trim this end close to the end and down here I need to get my catch to start working because right now it doesn't work. I've left it too long. By holding and lining the catch up right here I made a mark so where I think it's going to go and I will actually cut this lower than that. Okay, that's the top side. Nice and tight, smooth. Now that arrow looking mark is where I'm pretty sure it has to be cut to. So I'm actually going to nub it off about an eighth of an inch back from it. It's pretty strong folks. just that little half inch section and that glue holds up look at that you don't think that long one will do it I can't even break that by hand call me an old man if you want it doesn't catch yet so I have to trim it again It caught that time. But only when I push it down. And there it is, folks. Now there's a little discrepancy. You see it lines right up here, but I'm too high on the top. Somehow when I was planing it down, folks, I measured this end when I held it together, and it was an inch and a quarter. But this other end down here that sticks up is measuring about 330 seconds larger. So I must have lightened my pressure up and done something a little bit different. So what I'll do, I'll just sand it down, and that's easy enough to do. Take this inside.